Hello, this is John Tillotson, and I'm going to show you how to change your radiator fluid on a 2006 Chevy truck. This is a pretty easy uh, operation, you don't need a lot of tools. Okay, I'm going to give you a quick look at the truck here. So what you know what kind of vehicle you're looking at. That's the painting that my brother did. Okay, the what we're going to do, we're going to go underneath. This is the style clamp there that you would use that other type of tool for. The one was blue. Okay, we're going to crawl under and get the job done. Just want to give you an overview of more, a little bit more, the type of stuff you're going to need. Like the WD-40, that'll come in handy if it's a little rusty, easier to do. You can check me out. I'm John Tillotson. I'm on YouTube. Just go to, just go to Dreamcatcher. That's my song. That's my only hit, really, so far. But it's better no hits. And then. Same thing goes with my brother. He only has one real big painting and that's it pretty much there. Also you can find me on Facebook. That's how we're working everything right now is on Facebook. Okay, on most trucks you're going to crawl underneath and the hose will be underneath. But on this one so you can see it's right there. Now I already undid the torque so I don't look like a fool here. Certainly with my left hand. It's not a very easy operation. Okay, the clamp's done. The only thing you have to do is just pull the hose off of the thing. Okay, now we're, uh, radiator fluid is coming out. As you can tell the hose has been disconnected. Now I've got the truck leaning this way so you get a better flush. The water will come down off the engine. You'll get more out than you would otherwise. Sometimes you need a portable little flashlight. good idea to do this once a year. Helps keep your engine clean and it helps with your uh, radiator. I don't suggest using the drainage plug because they're plastic and they break off. It's best just to use the hose. You use the old style clamp, replace it with the style clamp that we just saw there. You could use the screwdriver and screw it in. Okay what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some water even though the thing is open, I'm going to put some water in it and get, get the drainage a little bit more. About a half a gallon. Do that right now. Distilled water. Now here we have hard water, so we use distilled water. In most places, you don't need to use hard water. Hi, let's talk a little bit about antifreeze. Uh, this stuff is toxic, so it could kill like small animals and dogs. So, if you leave it out overnight, it will taste like Kool-Aid to them and they will drink it. Gatorade, that's what it tastes like. And here, in like Florida, they're not allowed to sell this kind of stuff anymore. It has to be eco-friendly. We do have the eco-friendly sold here, just not what we have on hand at this moment. Uh, but if you're out there in the middle of nowhere, a pack of wolves, 15 of them are out there. Anti freeze, baby. Let's <laughs> give it a little bit of it out there for you. Just joking, of course. Deadly.
All right, this is where we are right now. It's kind of dripping out just a little bit. I got the Cardinal game coming up, so uh, I'm going to get this job going. So let's get working on it. Okay, here we are pouring in the fluid. Like I said before, this is the type of fluid that you 50 50 with water. Now, I've done this before, but the yeah, you kind of want to mix it up a little bit. I bet. Pretty much do a couple pints and then I wait. I remember they had the old style clamp that they have on the, all the cars. Pretty much what a pain it was to get it off the first time. Sometimes if you have a hard time getting things off, you have to jack it up. Higher sometimes the more. Okay, we're almost done here. You notice the line's about right there, a little bit over right now because we just filled it up. That has to be the funnel for dummies. It's pretty hard to mess that up. I think we're ready to go. All right, it's all done. Okay. Wasn't that hard. It's getting a little hot out there right now. We started the job, it was almost 76, and it's already jumped up 10 degrees here in that little bit of time, but it's not that hard. Uh, definitely getting the clamp off, the original clamp off, is a very, could be a difficult thing to do. But if you replace it with one of these, it's easier because it's in an odd position on this truck. Usually, it's a, it's a pretty easy job to do. And, and it's something you can start. This is like a beginner type of thing, like changing oil would be to get more into cars and to get into transmissions. You start looking underneath the hood. Working on the engine. <laughs> okay, gotta run. Gotta we go down and cheer the Cardinals on. Just go ahead and see me on Facebook. That's where I am. Art and music, that's what we're doing.